Next is 4 for corner permutation. I did the Y permutation, but if you want, you can still do the other permutation and with the setup moves. That's okay. Next is 5. Next is 1. Next is 3. Next is 5. Next is 8. And this is the last corner. Now, it doesn't matter since I'm looking, but all my top centers have rotated 180 degrees because I only did the algorithm uh, six times. So I have to do it two more times in order to put the centers back. I'm going to do that just for the sake that you know what to do. Make sure you always perform the algorithm a multiple of eight. Very important. All right. Next is the com uh, is the commutation. I'm going to do one to eight, no, one to six. To I wanted to solve a white first, so one to six to fourteen, and I'm already set up for that. There we go. There's centers solved. Next we're going to go to this one. It's going to be 4 to 17 to uh, 7. We do an F setup move. And just FI to put it back. There. You can see you've got some centers solved. Uh, next one it's 4 to 21 to 9. 4 to 21 to 9. To use for my setup move. Pay very careful attention when you're actually when you can't see it. Otherwise you can really screw up the cube. Next it's 4 to 23 to 18. 23 to 18. I have to do two setup moves for this. I'm going to do a UI move and a 2D move. Well, that was wrong. Alright, so I do a U and 2Ds to put it back. Alright. So next I have 4 to, I can't think of it, 4 to 24. Now normally I would do to 13, however if I do that, then I have to do a 2 swap with this center and, make, and finish off white, and I don't want to do that yet. So I'm going to do 4 to 24 to 15, okay? 4 to 24 to 15. To use on my setup move. Do the setup move. Next, it's going to be 4 to 10 to 19. I can do two L's as my setup move. Alright, next, I have 4 to 12 to 13. I can do two B's as a setup move. All 
Alright, now i got to swap these two pieces. If I was doing it blind, I would put my fingers on them and move it around so I know where they are at all times. And do my two swap of them. And then your cube is done. So that is the... That is, in a nutshell, how to blind solve Rubik's Revenge. If you have questions, there's not much I can help you with. But I'll try, but this is the best I can explain it, so that's the last part on how to blind solve the Rubik's Revenge. Thanks for watching.